check it out, it's VG Player. Once again, back with another video. This one is again Erica in the Dead Mines. Yay, she looks so cool. This is actually going to have both the old and the new Dead Mines. This is obviously the original one with the new. Oops. With the new Cataclysm version coming out soon. It's not side by side. I don't know how to actually run both of these at the same time. I'm getting a crappy start. Ah. Oh. Level 80. Attack me, you shall not. Why am I trying to loot things? Ignore! Loot to self. Stop forgetting Rip Dog. Alright. Go away! That's always fun. Everybody knows this dude. Rockzor, the foreman. It's replaced by a two-headed ogre. Who is more spell-oriented than melee. Either way, they're both stupid. Although I like the new, <laughs> new death animation for the guy that takes his place. Anyways. Yeah. While we're here, we're gonna check to see if Minor Johnson's here. All these enemies get replaced by a whole bunch of different things. Goblins, monkeys. Hey, Minor Johnson! What's up, buddy? It's sad, but I'll kill you for the last time. The last time. And, in honor of the last kill, because I'm not going to do this again before 4.3, not 4.3, 4.0.3A, or whatever it's called, comes out, we will get the last Miner's Cape in the game. I'm a retard that defies Miner! Stonemason Cloak! Huzzah! If only I was on my enchanter. But I'm not. I should do this on my priest, it'd be funnier that way I can mind control. But no. Let's see. This guy gets replaced by a dude on one of those new little critters, whatever the name is. I don't know what they're called. I don't play a horde chain in there, only horde really typical. Goblin servant dudes. This has the same general premise as speed. Where you gotta kill the big guy first, and out pops the little dude, and then you gotta kick his ass. The final kill of Sneed by this character. The drop rates for the items seem to be kind of skewed in the new version. You get really weird drops from characters. You get melee characters dropping caster stuff. It makes no sense. Let's show off this combination. Rip Tog, stop that. Just ruin, our hang. Just ruin the cool stuff. per second according to my little frame thing at the bottom. Is that the case? Who knows? Let me go like this. Let me follow oh, yeah. <laughs> Tip for warlocks when doing low level instances like this. Seed of corruption followed by death coil.
geladen ist. Replaced by a robot for some reason. I'm like, yay, robot. Robot. Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, they transform before your eyes. Random. Reference to Transformers. It has nothing to do with World of Warcraft, but I like Transformers. Original Transformers is awesome. Anybody who's never seen it before, watch it. I wouldn't watch it. It's an awesome movie. Okay, Blizzard decides to pull an asshole in the new version of this instance. Normally you grab the gunpowder, friggin' if you don't have a rogue. You go in here and you friggin' use this. You there! Check, check out, out that, that noise. noise! We're under attack! A mass you swap! Repel the invaders! That's I like that song. We're under attack! The only problem is swung. that song is Repel a the this that the dead mines is gonna be the same at level 85 and it's not. That sucks, but you'll see what I mean. Anybody's watched Total Halibut slash Total Biscuits videos will know exactly what I'm referring to. Anybody who hasn't, well, that's just too bad you should. Although his video has the heroic version. This one is going to have the non-heroic version, because Cataclysm is not out yet. Unless I decide to be a jerk and wait to upload this until Cataclysm is out, which I am a liar now. But I am going to upload this as soon as I get it finished, like I do with all my other videos. I think these guys are broken. They're supposed to stealth. Oh well. Who cares? <laughs> Everybody's favorite torrent boss. You land lovers are totally tougher than I thought. Oh, I'll have to improvise. Okay, that worked really good. Yes, Rip Talk, save me. Hello, friends. I'm Sneed. For cash, I can't watch any. Oh, we're past that part. <sighs> I really like running the dead mines. I'm glad this will be my last solo of this particular instance. Unless I get extremely bored. I'm done with this. Traps will say this like 50 different videos, and I gotta piece me all together. Why does it have to save it? Maybe I format. It takes up so much space on my hard drive. I will be so glad when I get this converted to a WMA playback video. I'll use to order the hard drive space. That's why you buy extra hard drive space. I should finish doing my LP of Diablo 2. Why haven't I? Because I'm lazy, I guess. If anybody watches this and actually pays attention to that walkthrough and wants me to finish it, let me know. I still have the save file and everything, I've just been too lazy. Speaking of being lazy, I gotta do one for another one of 
everybody's favorite dungeons in this game. None may challenge the blood of one another. I will miss you. Exactly, oh, I will so miss you. So we put him in another instance where you gotta. Ah, uh, never stone staff. I am not staff. I used it for about three, four levels to make it. Now it's time for everybody's favorite boss in the dead mines. That's right, it's Cookie. Cookie, come here. I need to kill you. I should let everybody know that the dungeon levels aren't too much different from the original non cataclysm counterparts. Yay, Cookie Stirring Rod. Oh, darn. Awesome. There's hoping I'd actually get the cat carrier. I got a friend that wants that kitty. Oh well. This concludes part one of this video. Next you'll see me at the beginning of the Dead Mines again. Except I'll probably be on a different character just purely due to the fact that unfortunately I've already done the quest chain that is in the dungeon. So I will probably do it on my hunter who will be a human, apparently. Anyways, this concludes part one. Yes. Human Hunter! Yes, this is once again the Dead Mines. Except it's not the Dead Mines, it's the Dead Mines. As you can tell, I'm gonna lag like hell because this is on the PTR, so yeah. Everybody meet Scooter! Dance, Scooter, dance! Do 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 do. Okay, enough of that. I love the fox. Oh, we can walk and dance at the same time. Cool. Anyways, we got the Alarmobot 2000s. That was a rat. The crime scene Alarmobot. And of course, you got the Stormwind Defender. Why are they here? Because they're investigating. And look, it's a goblin transporter. That does nothing. I will show you what that does in a little bit. Anyways, talk to this dude. Lieutenant Horatio Lane. I assume the eye silent. This dude, Glub Talk. He is the new foreman. He won't go down easy. <laughs> yeah, he will. Pick up your quest. This will prevent the, hey, can anybody share the quest for this instance? Blah, blah, blah. Notice that all the Defias miners are gone. They have been replaced by kobolds and ogres. And there's an ogre with a cannon. And there's that thing. Die. As you can tell, this is not a level 80, therefore it is not one of the pre-maids. Spellbinder robe, yay. Okay, we're just gonna put my... Go, Scooter, go! Feel free to go ape shit. This is just to clear things out a little faster. As soon as he kills that little bastard. There we go. Club talk. I love his death animation. It is so freaking cool. You'll see what I mean in a second. Assuming that I kill him. Boom. And he explodes! Gets hit by a bunch of elemental lightning bolts. And boom! He dies a la Ganondorf from Zelda 1. Ours we're missing is a giant yellow triangle mixed in there, and we would be all good. Miner's Cape. Hmm. We haven't seen that within the last five minutes, have we? Let's see. We got a little transceiver here. I'll pull it up, see? 
the Storm Wind Communicator Mark II. This allows you to contact the quest giver to turn it in without having to go back. So you can continue doing the instance. Now you think, is that it? Is that the only quest for the Dead Mines? Well, no! Of course not. That would be foolish, now wouldn't it? Now check this out. This is kind of cool. You see these? You can aim at those. Boink! You can actually destroy the barrels. They explode. You can take advantage of those. Whoa! I didn't want to shoot the poor monkey. I'm sorry, monkey. There seems to be a lot of greens that drop in here. A lot easier. These are kind of neat. The mine bunnies. Not because of the fact that they're like another kind of bunny that exists in our world, but just because of the fact that they're there. Now, these monkeys, you can actually help. And when you help them, they get pissed off. They decide to go, well, since they're apes, they go ape shit on anybody nearby. Whoops. Blizzard still hasn't fixed that. Auto-targeting? Come on. Anyways, next... Also, be careful if you set these things off that you're not near them, because they will kill you if you happen to be too damn close. Yes, you can attempt to save the monkey. Alrighty, now we're going to go into the second boss. Oh, what's this? A quest. Apparently, we get to kill Helix Gearbreaker. He rides on one of these things, these oaf lackeys. Except this oaf actually has a purpose. Now, remember that little teleporting device at the beginning that I pointed out? I said that I'd show you what is what it's for later. Well, this is what it's for. You can go to it, and apparently you can't use that one specifically. Hold on. What you can do is if you happen to wipe, which if you do, then either your tank or your healer sucks, you can use the one at the entrance to port to any of these that you have activated. I'm assuming you actually have to down the boss for it to actually work. Anyways, here's the Lumbering Oaf, which basically is the equivalent of Sneed's Shredder. And there's Dumbass McGundy. Those bombs will hurt you at the appropriate level, but since I'm not level 20, I don't care. And... We can click to complete the quest, and ha ha! 33 more silver. Although, this leads to the question of how are they giving you silver when you're nowhere near them? It's magic. Video game logic does not, need not apply. Okay. Now we start running into the actual Defias. Defias miners are back, except now they're halfway through the instance instead of instead of three-fourths, or whatever, starting at the beginning. They actually get a buff from these stupid invokers now, which I think reduces the damage. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. I'm actually not lagging as bad as I thought I would. There is some bad lag here and there. Anyways, hopefully, I'll, if I wanted to do an actual recording on the instance done properly, I can do it without having to lag, or else I'm going to have to buy a new computer, and that would be bad. Because I don't have enough money for that, but it's okay. Anyways. Oh. Everybody knows what's coming next. That's right, it's the smelting room. Look, it's another quest. It's like, yay, we get to kill the Faux Reaper 5000. I 
It's like, yay, the reason why those goblins are running off is because the mechs are out of control. And guess what you get to do? You have to kill every single one of these, from what I can tell. Every single last one. There's actually supposed to be another bot in here that you can control, but as you can tell, you cannot attack him because of this debuff. He's offline. So, you gotta kill all the Defias Reapers. In Total Halibut's video, there was a bot that you're supposed to jump in. I think that may only be in Heroic. I am not sure. This is regular, because you can't do Heroic on PTR, because this is not beta. Although, some of the same rules apply. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong on PTR and beta. Now that the Foe Reaper is active, you get to kill him. Yay. Last time I killed him, he dropped the Emberstone Staff, and this was on my Warlock. And I'm like, what the? Overdrive. Ugh. Don't want to find out what that does. The Buzzsaw. Didn't I already get that? Now we can turn in this quest. There's that. Let's see here. Killing more Defias, yay! Because Defias is all so awesome. And lag. And now, let's kill this one. Yes. Alrighty. Hey, look, a chest. And a Defias Shadow Guard that thinks he's so stealthy. He's using camouflage. Oh, because he's obscured. I cannot aim at him. Alrighty. Now, like I said... They decide to be a jerk here. They, they do a complete ass move. Go here. Use the Defias Cannon. Take some damage, and you end up lowering the door anyways. I'm assuming that a rogue can still pick the lock. But since I'm not on my rogue, I cannot test that. If I decide to put a rogue on here and check that, I will make a notation at some point. Alrighty, now we're back on the ship. There's the birds. But wait, where are all the pirates? There were pirates here in the original. Well, that is not the case now. The pirates are all on the boat. You see those red spots? Yeah, you don't want to get hit. Hey look, it's a worgen. He's a bad guy. His name is Repsnarl. He wants to kick your butt. He wants to beat your ass. Okay, first time I did this on my Warlock, I ended up getting knocked off this ramp. So, be very careful. It would suck if 
your healer gets knocked off and has to run all the way around. Those birds will pull at a normal level. Since I'm level 74, they don't pull, but... Of course, this is where you'd fight everybody's favorites. A vast... Everybody. But... He is not here. Apparently he decided he was going to go out and improvise, and has decided to take a vacation. These pirates, I believe if you kill them, it will completely disable the cannons. Oh, hello. Alrighty, cool. I have officially discovered something new that I did not know about. Why would you want to hop in the cannons? I have no clue. I do not think there's a point in doing so. But if you want to play around with the cannons, you can apparently hop in them. Hello. Holy zoom out, Batman. Alrighty, let's send Scooter in to do some serious badassery. Now what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to exit this. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm actually going to show you how those teleporters work. In case you die and you're wondering, how the heck am I supposed to use this thing? Okay. Kill shot. I don't want to use kill shot. Come on, scooter. 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 Well, Scooter, I'm going to dismiss you. Why? Because you've done all the dead mines. We're going to summon Damien. Because I like my bull mastiff. Never had one in real life, but he's a really cool dog. And then there's probably someone who's going to watch this video and be like, Where did you get that? Where did you get that? It's like I got both of them like, within five minutes of each other. They they wander around the Gilneas area. And you're like, how are you able to get in Gilneas? That's a Cataclysm Zone. It's like, no, that is an Azeroth Zone. It's already part of Azeroth to begin with. The only places that are considered that are considered Cataclysm is Oldham and Mount Hyjal, for one thing. Tolbarad can't be accessed in the PTR. And let's see, what else? Oh, Bashir cannot be accessed. There is Admiral Ripsnarl. He is in organ form. Thirst for blood. Anyways. He summons a mist that creates a problem. But of course... Gotta kill the vapor. There's Rip Snarl again. Come on, back up, back up. <laughs> Rip Snarl is dead. Yay! And look, he drops the lavishly jeweled ring. Personally, I would think that he should drop something else, but I am not the one that made the game. Alrighty. Turn in this quest. Now, I have no clue why they show him. I'd assume he's the one that's giving you the last part of the quest. But I have no clue. It makes no sense. Hey, look. Rogue Cloak. Actually, looks kind of neat. Plain, but neat. Anyways. I the finest kingpin. That's right. The leader of the Defias is apparently our old friend, Cookie. And he goes into the pot. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to eat the meat that he drops. 
This corn, I believe, is poisoned or something. Nope, that's a hand. That was actually a buff. Rotten corn poisons you. Gives you a debuff. Deals nature damage. And of course, the last quest, you can just turn in right there. And you can choose your reward. Cookie's mallet, cookie's stirring stick. Yes. And of course, cookie's stirring rod. He still drops that. Yes, indeed. And let's go. And I'm dead. Interestingly enough, he actually jumped off of the boat instead of wandering around like a retard. And of course, this is where I would normally end it, but I want to show you those transporters, since the dead mines doesn't reset when you exit it, or at least I hope it doesn't. I can show you those. Last time I went out this portal, it took me to the beginning, and I'm like, what? Alrighty. Loading screen! Yes! I have a feeling that my voice may be too low. If it is, then, well, it's too late. I'm not going to re-record this. Record again, I shall not. Hey, it actually brought me to the end. Well, I'm going to pause this, and I am going to do another thing where I will actually show those teleporters. And we are back. Back at the entrance. Of course, since we're already done with the instance, Horatio has moved from his usual position. Now, if you die, instead of running all the way through the instance, all through the trash and stuff, go to the Goblin Transporter and push one of the buttons. Let's see, Wooden Lumber takes you, obviously, to the master room. Metal and Scraps obviously takes you to the forge, I believe, and ship parts should take you to the entrance to the boat. To the boat! I do not think you can take them backwards, however. Or I could be wrong. Nope, oh, it looks like you can take them back. You can literally go to any of the sections of the dead mines you want. Except for the entrance, I think. There's the master room. Another oaf sitting right there. Just to be a douchebag. Yay! Just because I started something, I might as well take them out. Oops. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Oh, that's a goblin engineer. I wonder what he does. Odd. Odd that they're friendly. Well, I'll have to figure that out later. Alright, that concludes this video, or should I say, series of videos that are going to actually be combined into one really long, probably hour-long video. Darn my luck. Anyways, if you have any other questions about the dead mines, just feel free to post if you actually read this and decide to ask a question, but keep in mind that once Cataclysm's released, there would be no point, because everybody will be doing this instance just to have fun with it. And have a good morning, good night, or good evening, depending on what time you're watching this. And thank you for watching.